What's up, APS squad? In today's video, we're bringing you our top 10 most disappointing decks. Yeah, a bit of a depressing title, but these are the decks that we really wanted them to be good. We wanted to love them. But for whatever reason, we couldn't. They disappointed us. And so this is going in order of like kind of disappointing, you know, a bit of a letdown to just downright depressing. I'll kick it off with World Chalice. It really was supposed to be the big premier link strategy, right? That's true. Um, I remember was, when they were called Star Girls. That was hype time. During hype yeah. time, it was Star Girls. Everyone's like, oh my god, like these crazy Star Girl combos that end with this, like that, all these monsters. And, and the truth is, I mean, World Chalice can do these things. It did do those things. And it's even like top at events. But it's a glass cannon. When Star Girls were announced, we didn't even fully understand how linking even worked. Yeah, and you know, like, to give the deck credit, like I said, it's topped events. It's gotten, it works well with like Agent Venus and Brilliant Fusion and Eva. Those but, are a lot of parts though. But the truth is, if you want to play a really good Link Spam deck, you play Gokies, Spirals. Number nine, Element Sabers. Yeah, I was looking forward to this. The hype was based mainly on the name. You yeah. saw Element Saber, you thought. Yeah, you know, like Dragon Ruler type deck, or yeah. like, you know, cool, I'm gonna spam Moulin Glacier and Grand Soil. And you know, that for all intents and purposes, that's what it should do, and it kinda can, but it loses advantage really quickly. It is very frail without the field spell. It's inefficient if you actually try to run all the uh, Elemental Lords. They brick, you know. Oh, do they brick. Element Sabers were are in such a kind of awkward place. They got a new Elemental uh, Lord, right? The yeah, they've got all, yeah, they have all the attributes. And right. That just didn't matter. And I mean, you know, to their credit, I have seen them be used kind of as an engine in some like 60 card warrior link mesh decks. Oof. But the deck itself isn't. It's you a know. cool concept, execution wise. Eh. Deck number eight is Crawlers. So this is another one of those world legacy archetypes, actually. I played Spiders way back in the day. Way. So, uh, <laughs> so Crawlers reminded me of that. They were a flip effect uh, type deck. And it even had a cool like float effect, right? Yeah, whenever they got sent to the grave, you got two new crawlers from your deck with face that, down. That's a plus. What could go wrong? Then you read the text more closely. <laughs> like flip effect decks are slow. We've seen like sub terrors and stuff. It kind of struggles. But they've su they've succeeded with like shadows. Yeah, it's the problem is just that like it's unintuitive. Like they have to die face up to summon more of them face, like, just, eh, like, But first they have to be face down. It's it like- It has to be by a card effect too, it can't be battle. You're, the game, the deck promises you that you don't have a, you don't really, you're not really gonna play into Elite Turn 2 at best. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, it's not that the deck can't kind of keep up the advantage. It can like generate monsters pretty quickly, and it has like good plus effects. There's some searches, there's some pops, and the late monsters are pretty decent. It's just that, fundamentally, <laughs> right? It, yeah. it just fundamentally flawed. It's just not gonna do the thing. Weather painters. This one disappoints me. What, I mean, it, it suffers from a similar problem as crawlers. Almost too slow to function. And their concept is cool. I like the whole like T-zone continuous spell trap thing and they banish and it's they come back. It's annoying to keep up with. And it's kind of a decent stun deck. But like their win condition is basically non-existent. They're trying to summon this boss monster who has incredible art. And who has a really good effect, it can kind of like control your opponent, but they aren't actually able to get enough monsters out on the board to make her. The special summon them. Yeah. So easy, right? <laughs> and you know, that's the kind of the issue with this deck. It's it's kind of like you're just doing a lot of nothing. And, sucks. and when you're trying to play a deck that's supposed to be a Link deck, that's not gonna fly. Yeah, kind of sucks. Not dissimilar to the next one, which is Rockets. Uh -huh. oh, I hate this deck. The age old conundrum. They're an anime archetype. Yep. Trick stars got good. Actually, started out good. Gokies, Gokies got good. Alter guys got really good. Yeah. Rockets. Uh, what, like what happened? Borload. Boral sword. Yeah. Best boss monsters ever. But the deck itself does not actually use its boss monsters well because like it can't summon them. It Just does not have to summon them. Yeah, with all the you know great ways you have of doing that, and then you summon your boss monsters, and then they don't float, and then it's just like, pfft. yeah, it just struggle. It just struggles from not being able to win its reach its win condition fast enough. Yeah, it's very like unintuitive because you mean you want to be able to like float with these rocket monsters, but if you link with them, then you can. And it's like uh, you take so many resources to summon Borload. 
if they could just give us Booster Dragon all would be well, but they won't, so. At least not in a TCG. It's but, okay though, I'm not bitter. Yeah, if you want to be bitter, let's talk about the next deck, Cybers. Number five. So, Cybers is not really an archetype, they're a type of monster. It's been wild trying to like piece it together. They actually have good Link monsters, and they've gotten decent support recently, but it's just been so slow, and like it's been a year, and there's still not it's even like, a... It's trickle down like support. Yeah, it's it's not, it just hasn't worked well. Uh, now there are some new cards, I think there's like Sinet Backdoor, which is a decent cert spell. Yeah, Lady Debugger, the Stratos. Yeah, so that actually came out in this new structure deck, which I'm, you know, I'm excited about that. But I just, you know, usually you expect the main character's deck to kind of pick up speed a little bit quicker. And Performer Pals, they blew up at one point. Yeah, and it really hasn't. Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, this deck might hit its stride, but as it is now, it's just disappointing to kind of see these cool Link monsters and these things, and it's just like, oh, but it takes... So many Cybers exclusive Link monsters that the only, basically only this deck can use. Yeah. But they really can't. The next deck is... Secret Six Samurai. Secret Six. I think this one's super disappointing yeah. because of just how big of a fan favorite Six Sam's actually are. Huge. Six Sam fans, some of the most dedicated fans in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Next to Black Wings. No one's gonna top you guys. You remember. Yeah, and so, you know, when we saw Secret Six Samurai, we were like, this is... It's awesome. I mean, like, it's a full new set of Six Samurai monsters. But then you kind of realize their effects just don't actually meld well at all. It was almost as if they didn't really want to support Six Sams, but they wanted to use the name. Because, I mean, like, you have these kind of banished-based effects, but it doesn't actually swarm that well, and it just kind of is slow and clunky. Like, they'll they they want to protect your field, but they have to get to the grave first, which is so weird, because Six Sam wanted to spam the field, right? Yeah, and they didn't really do that. And then the, the worst travesty of them all is the boss monster. Oh, the fusion? Why wasn't it a Link monster? In the era of Links, when everything is getting Links. Yeah, I just, I just don't know why they, I mean, I think it's a contact fusion, but I mean, does that matter when you just could have been a Link and... Then they could use all the things that made them great, you know. Yeah, and they could actually summon... Necheria Beast. Yeah, Sheen and Nat Beast and stuff, but Ugh. instead, we got whatever it is. Now, to be fair, Sam's can be used in some niche purposes. I mean, True. we've seen like, you know, True Draco Sam's, like Puma and stuff. But and they I mean, do their thing. But, but like the the Secret Six deck is just very disappointing. Next deck, equally disappointing, F A or was it Formula Athletes, Fast Athletes, Fat Athletes? Fast Athletes. All I know is that F A had potential, right? It started out like this is cool. They increased their levels. They have field spells. And then they got that big old uh, synchro, which made people think, ooh. Yeah, and they also have like Dawn Dragster, one of the better level seven synchros right now. Mm -hmm. They even get like kind of a Zodiac barrage type of card. All their field spells search when they get popped, and they do really well with a certain synchro boss monster, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Oh, but the ban hammer, right? Sucks, doesn't it? And this, in my opinion, combined with like mediocre is support, but it's mainly that banning of Ancient Fairy that really just made this deck go from potential to. Uh, nail yeah. in coffin. Just another one of those decks that kind of didn't. It sent Peter out. Didn't do the thing I was Reminds me a lot of UA in that regard. Then the next deck is Magical Musketeers. Magic Bullets. Whatever. All I know is that this deck was supposed to be busted when they were called Magic Bullets. And when you talk, <laughs> just like with the World Chat, I mean, Star Grails. Yeah. But, um, yeah, with effects that. They can just use their, their spell and trap cards as hand traps whenever they want. They can negate all kinds of nonsense. They even plus when you do it in their column, which is like, sweet. They'll dry date you, they'll negate you, they'll do whatever. But then everything just kind of falls apart when you realize that this deck... Well, I don't know where to start, honestly. It's entirely way too fragile. Very <laughs> fragile. I mean, hand traps really give this deck a problem, especially Ghost Overlord. A problem? Over. You can't play under hand traps. If you have too many monsters, your hand's bad. If you have too many spells or traps, your hand's bad. They can't actually like get out on the board quickly. Bad, bad, bad. Though we're not now we're not gonna knock this deck completely. This deck works, it does what it says it's gonna do. It just can't have any interruption from your opponents. And I mean as lower tier decks go, it's actually like quite fun and can overpower a lot of like, you know, order decks and stuff. 
And a format might come where this deck can do something. I feel like if the game was slower, it might even be like okay. And maybe if Konami banned every single hand trap. But until then, yeah. This deck, nah. And number one, Ben Dreads. Why are you crying? I, 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 I just need a moment, all right? And number one, Vendreds. <laughs> so, Ritual, Zombie Archetype, we were all intensely hype. TCG exclusive, so you always know that, oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be powerful. What could go wrong? As it turns out, everything. everything. The first round of support, it set it up, it set up, it set itself up for greatness. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, like is this new Necrons, like what are they gonna do with this? It's like ritual and they get these cool effects, you can make it a dryden, they can like banish spells and traps and special summon monsters. And, and Slayer would float when he's gone. They made so they, they made such a solid round of Works with free support. prep and all these awesome things. Then like time goes on. And the support keeps coming out. And it's all coming out as commons. <laughs> Which is always the first bad set. And it just kind of gets, like, worse and worse. Because, you know, every and worse. <laughs> every round of support, we were just like, all right, so where's our next, our, our, our second uh, ritual spell? We can tell we're going to get a second one. Where is it? And it's also just kind of like, okay, so where's, like, the plus one? You know, where's where's the, the search card? Like, yeah, where's know? any plus? I mean, we can actually list the number of, like, really good Vendred cards on one hand. They did announce we're supposed to get a Vendred link. Which, I don't which think, as of the time of recording, we don't know the effect of. Yeah, we don't know what it does. And frankly, does it really matter? Vendreds didn't need a link. But you will Konami deliver? Because they didn't the first time, or the second time, or the third time. Or the fourth. <laughs> so, that concludes our list of the 10 most Disappointing Yu-Gi-Oh decks. If you shed a tear during this video, I mean, yeah. we did too. So that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that bell icon, get all the latest updates, and join the what? Notification squad. squad. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Also, check out our sponsor, TCG Player. You can pick up these decks. Maybe you can make them good. We'll see. Or you can check out, or I guess and, you can check out our other sponsor, Ink Playmats. Use the code APS10 on their website for 10% off anything, any custom match you want. Even if you want a Team APS Playmat? Yeah, link in the description. All right, it's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.